Guys, I'm I want just want to quickly jump on here to share some items that I've accumulated over the past week or so. But these items, the first few items that I'll be sharing with you, I got uh, sent over by this brand here in Australia. They're called Bags and Belts. And they were so oh. kind to send these items to me. First one are these two belts. So basically they're like, they cater to both men and women's um, items. So I picked these um, items up. So this first one is an all leather, genuine, genuine leather, leather belt. And it's sort of like weaved like this. This one is in the, like the chocolate brown color and it's still quite stiff and I can't wait to wear this and fits perfectly in my neutral wardrobe especially this spring and summer this would um, easily um, fit in and yeah prices are so good as well it's like a perfect like Christmas gift to your um, family member or your loved ones and it doesn't break the bag and it's of good quality from what I could see and another one another belt is in this different kind of weave pattern um, this has a like a burgundy sort of color and with mixed with brown and yeah this would look perfect especially on this I think yeah I think yeah, it's gonna look perfect on this outfit. And yeah, another bag. It's I got to I picked this satchel leather bag in black, and it has a shoulder strap. And what I thought is to use this to house my computer and whatever. And I can use this for work as well. It's quite roomy inside. It has this like um, stripe pattern to it. Which is that the lining, I think. And it has a zipper over here. And this would easily perfect. It, it, this would easily fit in my 15 inch MacBook Pro. And yeah, it has a pocket in the front as well. Right over here. And it is a magnetic closure. And yeah, you can't really go wrong with a black satchel bag. And I love that back pocket as well over here. And I'm so happy that I got sent these. And if you want to show, I want to show it around. And what's interesting about this, it's like the hardware is like that so black mm, finish. It's not that um, like stainless steel finish to it. So that's how it looks like. Reminds me of the Proenza Schooler PS1. Isn't it cute? And it's also 100% um, leather, genuine leather. And I think if I could remember on top of my head, this retails for 160, I think, Australian dollars. But it it was on sale. I think it was only. I mean, I just chose them. But when I checked the website, I think it was 70 dollars for a all genuine like leather bag 69 is affordable and for the like quality that I could see right at the moment yeah this is easily a good bang for the buck and yeah I mean if you have a partner and goes to the office and has a like office day job this would be perfect present for them and that is that Sorry, just the light is changing constantly, so I just shift the camera around. 
so you could see me clearly and the items that I'm sharing. So another one, I'm very much excited about this because I've been using this perfume for the longest time and it's sort of like my special occasion perfume and it's from LV from Louis Vuitton and it's the Contre Moi it's actually a women's perfume or fragrance I know that they have released the menswear or the men's collection but this specifically spoke to me I'm obsessed I'm literally obsessed with it and on my birthday I was I almost bought this but I told myself I still couldn't do it um, for I think this is 350 Australian dollars now and I got this pre-loved from France um, yeah I got it almost half of the price which is great I still have to pay for the shipping but yeah, still quite cheap than paying it full price. So yeah, it's literally brand new, guys. Um, the seller said she used it to just to test it out, but yeah, I love love the scent of this. It instantly changes my mood. If I want to feel better and I'm like having a shitty day, I'll just spritz a little bit on my wrist and just put it on my neck and it lasts a long time yeah usually it lasts a long time and it's long wearing it has a vanilla like scent to it but i'll just quickly read what it says on the louis vuitton website and it's actually yeah it has vanilla it's an, an unexpected vanilla in a fusional embrace contre moi evokes the fusion of two travelers a sensual outpouring that lets emotions rush to the surface wow okay mm -hmm. okay i can i can see that ever fascinated by vanilla i'm so obsessed with vanilla i love vanilla candles master perfumer Jacques cavalier beltrud i don't know how to pronounce that transports it into uncharted territory by giving it unprecedented freshness yes i feel like it's so fresh i feel so fresh when i wear this perfume madagascar and tahitensis vanilla blend in a delicate tool of orange flower rose and magnolia petals yeah i can definitely like distinguish that there's some floral essence to this as well and what else a subtle touch of bitter cocoa reaffirms the perfume's rebellious temperament wow okay that's quite a lot of um description which is great i can definitely yeah cocoa is, yeah. love chocolate as well <laughs> yeah it's perfect i i just love those very like mild scented perfumes rather than those very like in your face like oh, like sometimes when i um, meet people and i mean just passing by on the streets i mean just suddenly the wind blows on them and you kind of smell their scent and sometimes it's just too much like like too flowery sometimes i don't know but i feel like i'm so lucky to have this and i love it and it has a magnetic um, closure here which is great and I can refill this at LV if I wanted to if I ran out of it I'll not pay that full price 350 is ridiculous for a perfume but I got this for 150 I think Australian and it comes with this packaging like this so yeah, I'm so, so happy about this. And I think this is like the PS de Resistance of this haul, but it's a vintage bag from Christian Dior. So here it is. It's in the Schroeder print. It 
it is really dingy and old and it smells it smells like yeah it smells really old I'm sorry but I kind of got rid of some of the smell and it's sort of like a what you call it it has it's like a clutch style bag it has a strap oops okay so I put you know those bath bombs that you buy from uh, Lush? I put one in here just to get rid of the um, Oda and it kind of helped. So it has that gold hardware which says CD over here and I, I got it for $180 which is not too bad because I just wanted to get a bit of the monogram into my wardrobe so yeah. Um, can't really go wrong. I think 180 is reasonable. I can still use this anyway. So if you open this flap up, it features two compartments and a slip pocket here at the front. And it has the branding which says Christian Leo. And only thing here is this snap button doesn't shut, it's broken. Is it broken? I don't think so, it's broken. No, it's broken. Yeah, it can't really shut. And it has three gussets on here. And let's at the back. I tried cleaning this. I've seen some videos, like they tried to clean their monogram Christian Dior bags, which are vintage and they kind of faded. So I tried just to rub off the white part and it's quite hard I just left it I just couldn't be bothered and I could use this as a crossbody bag just like that and I think I got this from one of those Japanese resellers on eBay and yeah, the smell kind of faded. I just needed to, um, yeah, air this out a little bit more just to get rid of the old odor. So yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with it. I'm not sure if you're a fan of the Dior monogram. And yeah, because I've seen a lot, I've seen like the uh, Troder. No, it's not the oblique. The oblique flap bag. I think I featured that on a vlog video on the O when I went to the store. And you know, like the flap bag is like 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 even Australian dollars, which is like no way I'm gonna even spend that much for a monogram. But this one, I'm, yeah, I'm so obsessed with. And I featured this in a, in an outfit of the day photo on my Instagram. I'll put some photos over here. And yeah, just like, just even using it as a clutch, you'll tuck, you'll tuck the strap inside. Just tuck it. And easily, this can be a great evening bag for like events if you're going to some dinner or formal events or like you're having like a Christmas party whatever doesn't that give some interest into your outfit like yeah especially on this denim it fits so perfectly so yeah these are some of the new things in my wardrobe and I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah I'll catch you up later guys please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!